today it's Caner Tip Tuesday, and today's topic is the truth. The truth about Kane self-defense. And before we jump into that, and today I'm telling you, it's going to be an eye-opener, regardless of where you are in the timeline and experience with this cane training. Um, warm welcome to those of you who are here for the first time as well. As the loyal crew, before you do anything else, make sure to hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss any future content. Hit that little bell icon uh, as well uh, so that you always know when we are uh, posting and avail yourself of the number one resource, no cost, right? People are asking, hey, how much does that call cost to get the blueprint and the whole, there is no cost. You're just gonna text the letters C, 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 which stand for Kane Clarity Call to 305-745-7839 so that we can get you clear on the path to mastering uh, this tool based on your goals. The truth about Kane self defense. And I'm going to make a, a statement here that may not sit well, right? Or, or at least initially uh, when you first hear it. And that is that there is no cane self-defense technique that is going to save your life or that is going to win a fight. And maybe you hear that and you say, what are you talking about? Um, I've been to your uh, seminars. I've seen your material and you get, you're very technical when you break things down. Yeah. There, there are principles that are in place that when you're going to go apply, they're going to create leverage for you. In other words, there's a, a, a good way, um, there's a better way of doing things, and then there's the best way to do them. And, and that's the way we like to do them on this end. But let me give you and just paint the scenario here. If I am about to go into a cage to fight a gorilla or a bear, for that matter, um, which cane self-defense technique do you think is going to get me out of that mess? And, and I think we would all agree that, hey, none of them are, are, are you are not, you're, you can't just go in there with that cane, um, you know, and, and, and fight a bear and come out of there and say, hey, I used XYZ technique. On the other hand, on the other hand, and I'm pretty sure your money's on that bear, isn't it? Um, on the other hand, <laughs> Uh, what technique do you think that bear is going to use um, uh, to fight me? And the answer to that is he's not going to use anything, right? No technique. What is he going to use? He's going to use his attributes. He's going to use the fact that he's bigger, he's stronger, you know, he's, he's fast. Uh, probably doesn't look as good, but he, he's got all these other things in place to just, right, that are going to overwhelm us. So the first thing that I want to point out is that that whole conversation, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna point three things out here. There's, there's probably three or four components that I wanna communicate as, as the truth in using this tool for self-defense. And that is that, that first concept of the strength matter in Kane's self-defense. And the idea is that this is a tool and that it creates uh, leverage for you. But notice that it's a tool, we often refer to it as an equalizer, uh, but the real equalizer we're quick to point out really is training and not the tool in and of itself, right? And so, but is strength important? Well, strength is important in everything. You're going to need to have a base uh, amount of strength, right, level of strength, to go ahead and handle yourself in a situation. Why? Because your opponent is likely bigger, stronger, faster. And if you don't know what you're doing with this and you don't have just a, the basic attributes, this tool then turn, it turns into a disaster because they will take this away from you and use it against you. That's why the training is important. But anybody who's ACSD, when you first start off with the foundation, what's the first goal? To build power, speed, and accuracy. You don't hear, well, it's the first thing we want is technique X, Y, Z, right? Let, let, let me show you what the issue with that, just, just real quick here, um, right? So we practice techniques in, 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 right, in an organized fashion, in a structured way, and he knows what's coming, and I know what, and he throws a strike, strike, and I do this, and I apply, and I go, yep, there's a time and a place for that, and right here, and, and then if anything happens, uh, you know, I come out here, and he knows what's going on. And so 
the, the first um, uh, component there is that we want to build ourselves, our physical attributes of power, speed, and accuracy first so that then you can maximize and leverage this. The second component is that while there's a place for that step-by-step -step structure, you've got to have the spontaneity. You've got to have the spontaneity. May I hear? And I'm going to ask Kiko to uh, pad himself up and give you a visual of what I'm talking about and then cover uh, uh, two components here. And um, I don't know exactly how he's going to come at me and all that. We've done this before, and so we're just going based on the fact that we've done this kind of thing. But essentially, he's going to move, right? And so an altercation uh, might be brewing, and I say, hey, man, listen, I, I don't want Hey, hey, back, back off, back off, man, back off. You know, like, hey, back, back, back. Have this type of thing where he's coming in this case he could have come with a push he could have come but he came out here if I were to uh, break something like this Kiko how did, how did you come and boy um, I could go to the inside of this and do something that's very structured but uh, more along the lines of I move out of the way striking here striking here don't miss this it didn't end there it did not end there why he wanted more and this is one of the, this is the third component that I, I, I put out there. You want to work on your physical attributes. You want to work in such a way where there is the unknown. After I've trained and I have the possibilities, the potential of application, now there has to be that thing where just move and attack, right? Move and attack, and it's got that spontaneous thing. And, 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 I, and, and he moved in this case, right? And I did this, but, but then he kept coming. This is important because a lot of times we practice, and in particular, ladies, you know, the whole concept of cane self-defense for the women, or just self-defense in general, where um, you break out of something and then very politely he backs off and you get to do it again. That's not what happens. That's not what happens. And I'll throw this disclaimer on there. Go ahead and YouTube it and you'll watch these thugs attacking women and they're just beating the daylights out of them. And they hit them and they kick them when they're down and they keep coming. Right? But in order to come uh, out, there has to be a certain amount of power and speed to come out with these attributes. So if you're listening to this and you say, you know what, I can't do that. Notice that I had to redirect. I came in here, then he comes back, I move and adjust, and my footwork is in play. I'm not there. I have an injury. I have, I'm overweight. Um, I had a stroke and I can only use one side of my body. I don't have, I know. Those, we work with caners like that all the time. Why? Because criminals don't care. And so you're going to have to circumvent your training, but your training has to include, a lot of it is solo work, so that you can build this, these base attributes and then go from there. That's why I always tell you that whatever cane training you're doing, whatever curriculum you're following out there, should give you the ability where I throw you a cane and I show you, show me those attributes. Show me what you can do with that cane. And if you, the only way you know how to do that is by getting a heavy bag and showing me or having another human being and say, oh, throw this punch, oh, I'm gonna go through here, I'm gonna do this. If that's the only way you can show me, then your training is lacking. And we need to plug into a curriculum that develops those attributes so that you can really leverage this tool. That's the truth about cane self-defense training. And where are you gonna pick up this foundation? Where does it all begin? I tell you, Every time, just go ahead and text CCC and get on that call. It doesn't cost you a penny to learn the truth. And you'll hear, it sound, It just sounds different. This is where you start first. This is what's second. This is when, what's third. Text those letters CCC to 305-745-7839. And that's how you begin the foundation because you deserve the very best when it comes to your self-defense and personal safety. I'm Joe Rubina for American Pain Self-Defense. Keep caning. Stay safe.